Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, it's summer learning apps. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge and today we're talking about some apps that will help learning in the summer. Summer is a great opportunity for kids to actually get interested in all kinds of things and whether they're in a summer camp, a sleepaway camp or at home and they're learning with one member of the family or another, whether it's their siblings, their neighbors or parents, it's a great opportunity to do some learning that happens outside, that happens through creative in creative ways, and all kinds of things like that. And I want to just suggest a few apps. There's quite a few of them out there. But let's start with night sky. So in the summer, we can step outside. It gets dark late, but kids are not going to school necessarily, so they can stay up a little bit later. And they can learn a lot about the stars. There's a few apps that do this, do this really, really well. And I want to uh, highlight one of them, and this is Sky View Free. So in this app, you can look at the night sky. You can see the red line is the, the line of the horizon. You can, the app will actually let you so see what's coming up from below the horizon. But whatever is in that center circle will actually show up. And you can see that it highlights it. And it also tells you some information right at the top, uh, at the bottom, sorry, left corner. So right now, we're looking at the constellation of Gemini. And if I press on the eye, I get some more information and I can even uh, start it so it will show up again. I can take pictures so I can take a picture and that picture will be in my uh, photos or I can email it or use it in any other way. Right now, the mode I'm using is looking at the night sky through a photograph. You can also turn that off and instead make sure that what you're getting is actually what it looks like outside. So you can match the uh, map of the sky with what you're actually seeing. Now, right now, we're inside, so you can't do that. But if you're outside and it's dark, you can do that very easily. And it helps you locate planets and constellation and learn a little bit about them. So let's turn that off. And again, we're in Gemini, and it tells you exactly what the name of the specific star is. And if you want to see, here's another planet and if you highlight that planet you can also see its course across the sky and if there are any other object in the sky like satellites that are right above you it'll show you them and it'll show you their path in the sky as well so lots of opportunities to use this app outside watching the stars being able to see different constellations and understand how they are formed great way to learn things you can't learn in the regular classroom by, by actually doing. The next app I want to talk about is an app I talk about quite often and I think it's one of the greatest things that you can use both on iPads and in computers but iPads present a special opportunity with that and that is Google Earth. If we go into Google Earth kids can explore places around the world whether it's places they're going to visit in the summer or places they would like to visit. So let's try and for example go to Australia because that's definitely a place I'm not going to be uh, this year. And again one of the things I love about, Austra oh, about <laughs> Australia, that one of the things I love about this app is the zooming in and out, getting the sense of the globe and then the ability to zoom in and we will, I'm actually going to choose a place that's really far away from the coasts. Most of Australia is on the coast. But you can look at this specific place. And again, just clicking on it gives you information, some photographs, a, a Wikipedia in, information that can be uh, taken here. So pressing on the Wikipedia page will bring that out and you can get the full article. You can then zoom to a different place. Let me just get a little bit out and go to the coast somewhere and focus on the southern tip of Australia. 
and see this wonderful beach and then you can see some photos from that area you can see the beaches from here you can get to to a street level that will change our view and show us what it looks like as we're traveling that road. So Google Earth is a great app that you can use in the summer to get general directions, to get geography, and to visit in places you haven't been to yet. And the next thing I want to talk about is an app that recently came up, and this is a Newsomatic. And Newsomatic is great because we want kids to read over the summer, we want them to be engaged. But what I love about Newsomatic is these are news that are adjusted every day, that are pertinent to that day, and therefore has something to do with the news, obviously from the name Newsomatic, has a lot of interest to uh, kids and young adults. So you can see right now, uh, there's a story about martial law in Thailand, there's a remembering 9-11 because the museum opened, uh, sports and other things. So you've got a combination of science, of politics, of world events, and the things you're interested in. And when you click on something, you get the story, and then you can actually get more than that story. For young kids, there's Read to Me. So the text is actually being read to you. Uh, for older kids, obviously, they can read this on their own. There's extra facts. There's ways you can act. So it's an interactive app that allows you to do some reading, but not or a different kind of reading than reading novels. A lot of expository text, informational text that is very important for kids. So this is Newsomatic. The last app I want to talk about uh, for summer is actually a creative app, and this is Pottery. And in Pottery, what you do is you actually create a pot, and you do that just by using your fingers. You can try to match something that has been ordered. You can get emails if you get an account. You can get emails and those emails say, can we get this thing? And you try to get close. So you can use the stars, but you can totally do something without all of that, just being creative. So you can make it taller. Oops. You can make a tall vase. You can bring it in. And take it out. And then when you're ready, you fire it. It's considerably quicker than in, re in real life. And now you've got it. You can use colors to paint it. And you can actually control the shading by how long you keep your finger there. So you can see how you can create patterns using color. There are also different patterns that you can use they call brushes. You can see the different patterns. And as you get advanced in the game, you can purchase more and more patterns. So as you sell the pottery you make, you can create a new patterns to incorporate into your creations. There are a few more things that you can do. You can take pictures of these uh, pots. So I'm now done. And I'm saying, it's ready. I will see the final product. I can look at it from different angles. This is a picture of that product that goes into my picture file and into the file inside this app. And then what I can do is I can send it if, the, if I try to make an order per the email, or I can try and sell it and get that game money that allows you to buy other uh, patterns. So this is a great app to get kids to interact and maybe want to try to do this in 3D. A new addition to this is you can actually order these products and they can be printed on a 3D printer and then sent to you so kids can actually create something that you can pay for and then get at home. So today we talked about a few apps that really can help you have a fun during the summer with kids whether you're teaching them or whether you're working with your own kids and we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.